of all, thank you for coming on. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. No, absolutely. Um, let's start out by talk a little bit about yourself, your product. I see it in the background. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm amazed how easy it works. So congratulations, because this is not an easy... I've got all these pictures throughout my house. I've been hanging them forever. And I can tell you, it's not easy to get things straight on the wall. In fact, I've got more holes I have to cover up <laughs> all the time. So first of all, I don't want to jump too far ahead, but tell me a little bit about your product. Let's start with that. Well, absolutely. My product's called Level Art. Here, I'll show you what it is right here. This is Level Art. It's, uh, it's the only tool of its kind that's going to allow you to put two nails in the wall, all at the right angle and all at the right depth, and in a matter of one second. You're literally just going to walk up to the wall, give it a little punch-like motion with both handles, and you hang that picture. You just walk up the wall. One second later, you walk away. You've got that picture hung. It's perfectly level, and you didn't have to go in the garage and gather any tool whatsoever. You don't have to find your tape measure, your hammer, your nails, anything else. You can do it by yourself. You don't need help, and uh, you get it all done in less than one second. So that's kind of the beauty of it, and everybody loves that aspect of it. You know, they finally go, gosh, I can finally do something without asking for help this time. You know, I often tell people, by the time you go to your garage, find your tape measure that you left your that you let your neighbor borrow, I can hang all your pictures up by the time you get back in the house. And so it's just that simple. Well, you know what's amazing about that? I'm always asking for help. When I hang any of the pictures, I have to ask my wife. I need to get a measuring thing out. And it's just, it's a problem. Um, We've all done it. We all spend 10, 15, 20 minutes, whatever it takes. We get all this stuff out. We get it all on there. And it still comes out uneven. So we stand back and we go, what just happened? It's still uneven. And we all do it. We walk up and we tweak one side a little bit to get it level, you know. And now we've sort of, you know, made one of the nails bend a little bit. And we've got it kind of all kiltered. And so we're all frustrated again. So we start over, you know. We've all been there, you know. So first of all, how did you come up with this idea? You know, I've been messing around with things since I was a little kid. I'm, I've always been sort of this sort of MacGyver little kid. Ever since I grew up, I was always tinkering and doing things. I learned all this from my father. You know, my father told me one thing that I've always remembered. He said, Michael, he said, think with your hands and your mind will come later. You know, and that taught me so much throughout growing up because I learned how to do all these things hands on. So I learned how to be a lot more street smart than I was maybe intellectual until I got older. And it stuck with me, you know, because I, and so throughout my life, I always thought about how to make things easier, faster, you know, less hassle for people. And I, so I've always sort of been that way. I've got this sort of A through Z personality and I'm, you know, I'm going a million miles an hour, but uh, sometimes it's hurt me a lot more times it's helped me, you know? So, uh, so I thought of this, this picture hanging thing, you know, I've done real estate for the last 20 years, uh, once I left this big corporate company, and I often go to my clients' houses after I closed escrow and they invite me over. And the thing I always saw, their pictures were either on the floor, leaning against the wall. It's the last thing anybody ever puts up. And the, your pictures and your artwork is kind of what brings the home together, you know? That's kind of your final thing. But they are for casting. And I always said, why don't you put those on the wall? They go, Mike, I don't want to hassle with it. I don't have time. I can't find my tools. I just don't want to deal with it. I'll get to it one day or another, you know? So I thought... Wow, okay, so I went home like everybody else, and I go, I'm going to make another marking tool. And I thought, I did these little laser glasses that I beam your eyes to the wall and gets it level. And then I thought, I don't need another marking tool. There's literally hundreds of those on the market. You can walk anywhere, any drugstore, any hardware store, there's another marking tool. So what I thought, how come nobody ever put the nails in the wall? 
You think of technology today, nobody's ever put the nail in the wall. We're still doing this. We're still doing one nail since cavemen. Literally, we're still doing one. One, you know, trying to figure it out. And nobody put the nails in the wall. So I thought, okay, I'm going to try that. I want to do something that actually puts the nails in the wall for you. It's very nice. In fact, when I watched the video, I was just... It was had that awe, oh, like, aha. Uh -huh. It was so simple because yeah. when you press it down, it just goes in. Yeah. You've got some great news. Yeah, I did. Absolutely. You know, I mean, I went through this whole gamut, like so many of your students and so many people that I know in the past. And uh, I just I've got a, I just signed with the, one of the largest uh, hardware guys in the world that actually do with any kind of picture hanging, whether it's a little J hook, a nail, a wire, this or that. Uh, I hooked up with them, you know, and I got my uh, got my product licensed, you know, over the last. Probably the last four weeks is when I actually signed the license contract and, and now we're moving forward. So it, it's it's awesome. I mean, it's uh, to get to that point after going through not only what I went through with this particular product, but I'm sure what many people go through with their own and to get to that point and uh, it really helped out. You know, I got a hold of you guys a little late in the game. You know, I was one of those guys with, you know, I came out with this sort of product and this invention. I was all excited, you know, and, and I went a thousand miles an hour and I let my emotions drive me rather than, you know, what I should have been doing because my emotions almost broke me financially. You know, I'm sure like everybody does. I'm going to go out and get a patent, which I did. I went, I went and hired an attorney and I did that. And I, and I, and I, and I, and I went and had a video made and I had a trailer video made and I, had a, and, I, and I just went crazy for a little while. And, I, and until I found you guys, I actually found you guys after I got my first licensing agreement. And um, I don't know if you remember, but when I talked to you uh, probably a year ago, I remember what you said. I said, you know, I've already got my license agreement. I've kind of got this, my little prototype. And you said, well, Michael, you said, well, maybe you don't need us. Maybe you're on your way. And I thought for a second, I thought, is this like a test question? Is he trying to, you know? So I thought, you know what? I said, no one. I expect I told you. I said, any any aspect that I can learn, not only from joining you guys at InventRide, but anything that I can learn prior or beyond what I've learned is just a plus for me. Whether it cost me money or not, it was a plus for me. So, um, it was very helpful. I mean, I, I kind of stepped in with Invent right, right to David right off the bat because he looked at my license agreement and um, it was with a DRTV company. And and um, that's a kind of a whole nother story. But, uh, you know, so uh, that's how I kind of got started with you guys, you know. You know, uh, there's a lot of people out there that, that go down this road of filing expensive patents and they never go anywhere. They, they struggle along the way. And it's not easy, as you know. So how did you finally feel when you got that deal? Oh, God. That... I mean, talk about, a, talk about a weight lifted off my back. And, you know, uh, you know, your sigh, of, you just sigh of relief just kind of goes way down, you know, and you're, you know, and I was, because I was going to give up like most people do, you know, I was going to throw this thing on the shelf twice over the last two and a half years, actually, you know, through this whole process. And, um, you know, I believed in the product. I knew it was going to make a difference, and I stuck with it. And I kept telling myself, Mike, you know, this is going to happen someday. Yeah, there's going to be more hurdles than not, but I got to keep it going. I kind of got this far, you know, it was sort of DRTV that popped up, and I was all excited, you know, and I and I kind of kind of got there from going to different conventions and doing going to pitch competitions, and I started winning these pitch competitions, and everybody got kind of excited about the product, and then you're all excited. But I tell you what, you go home after that, and it's like, okay. Now what? Now I'm back home again, you know, <laughs> rethink it all and, and kind of start from zero again. But anything that I went to as far as a convention or a pitch competition, it got me one, one more step ahead, you know. And after I talked to David, when I got a hold of you guys, uh, you know, he sort of pushed me in the direction of, you know, it's OK that, that this DRTV thing maybe didn't come through. You know, now head out there. And, and, you know, kind of went through some of the steps. So I kind of backtracked after David. And then I went back and sort of went through your program, you know, and learned so much that I would have, I got to tell you, I would have saved not only so much time and energy, but money as well. I mean, um, if I would have knew about you guys previous, which I didn't, I didn't know. And you're so easy to find. You're all over the, you know, all well, over the internet. Yeah, we're not, maybe we're not that easy to find. Well, but well. D David is so good. You know, David, um, he he helps with the licensing agreements, of course. He's the right. chief negotiator at InventRight. He sees a deal done. We we see a deal done every week now. Right, right. And people don't realize there's a lot to this deal making. It goes up and down, and you have to kind of go back and forth, and people are pulling out their hair. Oh, absolutely. And, and, yeah, David, th there's all these little details that people just don't, 
they don't really understand and we give a lot of information out on the YouTube channel as everybody knows right. but it's that back and forth that there, it's impossible to, to to help with that you just have to have a coach or someone there through all the twists and turns so now I know this is confidential we're not going to mention where it's coming out though but it's a big retailers picking this up right I mean it's a it's big yeah we're launching with one of the largest retailers in the country uh, here uh, in about 30 to 60 days time. Right now we're finishing up all the tooling and get it manufactured uh, partly in China, partly in the United States. So it's kind of going to kind of be a twofold, but uh, very excited about it. I mean, they just loved it. They absolutely thought it was, you know, uh, the best thing for their, for their store and their customer. And so we're, we're, we're running forward with it. Yeah, it's a big player. And I'll tell you that your product looks beautiful. I love the colors, your video. You did a good job. Well, thank you. Yeah, you know, we want something that was going to pop. So when you walk in the store, your eyes going to draw you to this. You know, um, this the, the beauty of this is two tools in one. So you pop the end handle off like this. You slide it off. Now you've got a single handle. So now anything that you have that's a craft item or a clock on the wall, anything small, one little punch, one second, you're done. So now you've got stuff that you can put up with one nail and you slide it back on. Now you're ready to go hang things and take two nails again. So it's just that easy. So it gives you that two tools in one and you're ready to go. And it's going to be price pointed about about 20 bucks so it's going to be a, that's such a good price you know but i gotta tell you before i started with you guys um you know i went through that gamut of trying to figure it out myself trying to go to china i didn't know anybody you know everybody gave me that deer in the headlights you know because you just can't knock on your neighbor's door and go hey i'm gonna invent something can you help me and they kind of uh, what they kind of give you no and so nobody knew i think the, the number one thing i had to learn getting started was really who to trust you know really who to talk to and trust along the way because once you get going, especially if you got a product that maybe might make it uh, in a lot of people's eyes, everybody wants a piece of you. But they're not really to really they're not there to really help you. They just want a piece of your company, you know. And when I started checking out China, I couldn't get the price point low enough. And that was my probably my biggest deterrent when I went through DRTV, as most people don't really understand. When you have a product, it's a four or five times factor. You know, um, if you've got a twenty dollar item, you've got to make it for four. You know, and that's one of the number one things I ask my buddies and people here locally in the Central Valley where I live is when they come up with something, the first thing I ask them, what's the price point of your product? That's kind of what I ask them first before they sort of get all crazy about it, you know. And uh, because I learned a lot that way, you know, and licensing and going through a company that's done it many, many times before, oh, my gosh, we beat my cost in China by, by two-thirds, you know. So it was wonderful, yeah. I mean, I, I appreciate everything InventRide's done for me and – and the coaching aspect of it as well, you know, um, you know, if uh, I got to tell people, you know, you, you know, even if uh, if they hesitate at all and, and and don't go down the road I did, I mean, it happened for me. But but sit back and learn about what you need to do each step of the way. Don't just jump into it and you think you're gonna you've got it all handled and you've got all the answers because nobody does. I mean, you really don't until you get into uh, what it takes step by step. And I got to tell you, Inventrite is the one that really helped me you know, get the end result done. So I appreciate that. Oh, you're very welcome. I want to thank you for sharing your story with everybody. It's a wonderful, fantastic product. It's going to do extremely well. I know it. But we'd like to have you back. Yeah, absolutely. And when this, when it launches, make sure you take pictures of you and, and the major retailers. Come back. And I want to show everybody where it is because they're going to absolutely love it. And uh, congratulations. No, thanks again, Stephen. I appreciate, I appreciate it. it. All right. Thank you, Mike. Hi, this is Stephen Key, and I just want to thank you for watching InventRight TV. We're here to save you time, save you money, and show you how you can bring your products to market through licensing. So please subscribe down below, click on the button, and tell your friends. Thank you.